Hey, how's it going, everybody? You're tuned in to Dive Entrepreneur, and I'm going to be going over what's been going on for the past week or so and what's new from the last time I shot Dive Entrepreneur. So I'll be right back. All right, everybody, I'm back. Yes, um, hopefully you're enjoying the nice little scenery. It's a beautiful day. I'm glad I had the opportunity to change it up and be outside and record this episode of Diary of an Entrepreneur. So if you're not familiar with the show by now, uh, that sucks. So I'm not going to go into all of that. <laughs> but if you are familiar with the show, welcome back. So what's been going on with One Recourse? Oh man, a lot of things, a lot of things, but a lot of good things. One of the things that I'm happy about, I uh, got a new client, which is young professional, uh, young hip professionals. It's a mobile bartending company working on their website, just finished their logo, uh, which they were extremely happy about. So I'm glad I was able to provide a great service to them. So shout out to young professional, young hip professionals and your mobile bartending service. So I'm going to make sure that I get the word out about you guys so you can grow your business. So that was one of the things that kind of went down for one recourse. Always a good thing when I get new clients uh, because not only am I getting to do what I love, I'm getting to help other businesses grow. So that's really good. But that's not the highlight of one of the things I'm most excited about bugs out here flying around. It's not one of the things I'm most excited about. What I'm really, really excited about is the One Recourse podcast. Oh man, that is becoming uh, just a whole nother, you know, level of, of just greatness, I'd like to say, from where it was to, to where it is. So the One Recourse podcast with myself and Mitchell Backus, we redesigned the website. So the website is super official and you can download um, our files. You can get show notes. So if you want to hear a certain part. Of what's going on you know we highlight certain things in the show so I'm excited about that so we just did a relaunch of the podcast and before the podcast we had our guests we did about 12 no 11 shows in 2016 and they were monthly shows so we'd have a guest come on and we'd interview them and the quality wasn't always there but I mean it's a, it's a growing process and we're still honestly working on that process as we speak but that's all about progression. That's kind of why these videos are here and why I make these videos because, you know, I'm not perfect and I haven't um, met my full potential as an entrepreneur, but I am continuing to strive, uh, stride, make strides toward being the best that I can be and achieving my goal that I've set forth to do. So anyway, getting back into the podcast. The podcast basically was shot once a week. I mean, excuse me, once a month. We have an interviewer guest on there and they come on and, and that was really great. With this, what we have done, um, myself, Mitch, and um, our DJ Oldie, shout out to DJ Oldie, we had a meeting, and we decided that we're going to roll out weekly shows. So the One Request Podcast goes from monthly to weekly. And that's kind of like really huge because it's one, you know, it's putting that commitment in there, making sure that we deliver great content to everybody on a regular basis. Uh, we added some stuff to the show. So we're still going to have guests. We're going to have Diary of an Entrepreneur, which is going to be a segment of the show that was derived from my show right now, which is Diary of an Entrepreneur, where I'm just kind of documenting the progression I'm going through, um, you know, becoming number one. And this segment of the show, what we have is we have guests who will come on. And mostly since we've done 12 episodes, we're going to try to get some of our old guests that came on. And we're going to try to document their story. So for every guest that we have come on, we're always going to bring them back to really see what their progression has been and really document that as their diary. You know, and that's going to be the Diary of the Entrepreneur section where we have past guests who come on. And, um, you know, once we introduce you to them in another episode, we have past guests who come on. So that's the premise of the show. I'll still be doing my Diary of an Entrepreneur. So you won't hear all this good stuff, you know, this is like behind the scenes, you know, Diary of an Entrepreneur, uh, you know, when you watch these videos, but when you watch the other videos, you now will understand where it came from and what it's all about, so make sure you check that out. The next thing we talk about is trending topics on the podcast, so that's going to be another, that's going to be like one week we're going to be talking trending topics, and trending topics, that is, you know, we're going to see what's going on in the news, 
and what we're gonna do is give the business or you know business slash marketing perspective to what we see that's going on in the news. So you know the news is gonna project one thing, whether it's a you know unfortunate event or whether it's you know somebody dropping a new album or you know the NBA finals or you know whatever it may be, whatever's in the news that's that's trending, everybody's talking about, and. What we're gonna do is just gonna make sure, like, listen, you know, it is news, but there's there's a reason behind everything, and we're gonna cover the marketing reason behind certain things and the business reason behind certain things, and I think that's gonna be really interesting because it's gonna be a different insight, a different perspective, and a different feel and flow to what's going on, you know, in the world. So happy about that. Another segment that we are gonna be introducing is the let's be honest section. So let's be honest section. If you're not familiar with that let's be honest section is again something that I had started uh, prior to the show where it was the good the bad and the ugly truths about marketing and small business this ended up being a very very popular um, segment of mine that I would do so now it's getting rolled into the show and we're elaborating on some of the good the bad and the ugly truths about you know business and marketing but not just from my own perspective and my eye my, my eyes uh, Mitchell and myself will be going over, you know, a lot of the good, bad, and ugly truths that aren't often covered in a lot of different things. We're going to have guests who are going to come on, and they're going to talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly. So if you want to hear, like, a really great controversial show, if you want to get some real truths about what's going on in the business world and the marketing world, that's going to be a great episode for you to listen to and watch. And the last thing that's being added to the show, which was Mitchell's idea, was the top ten uh, playlist. So this top 10 playlist is Mitch and myself. We come up with like 10 tracks and you know, tracks from either old school, new school, whatever. We just, we, whatever we're vibing with. And we're going to then present them to everybody out there who's watching or listening or you know, has any type of connection with one recourse or PS management. And we're going to let you kind of help us pick our top 10. And again, cause I'm going to pick 10. He's going to pick 10. And whoever's top 10 or whatever top 10 get picked, we're going to have them on the show and we're going to talk about it. And we're going to have musical guests on there, people who, whether you're a music entrepreneur or somebody just who loves music, you're going to come onto the show and we're going to talk about the different tracks, you know, what they mean, what's good, what's bad, you know, what type of music do you like, and really make it a vibe. And the best part about it that I like about this part of the podcast that we're bringing out is it's going to be really interacting and really engaging you know, to our listeners, to our followers, because music connects everybody. So, um, you know, shout out to Mitch for introducing that idea into the show, which I feel is going to really be amazing and reaching more people, expanding. The One Recourse podcast is the premier business and entertainment podcast that I feel is going to uh, open up the doors for so many people when it comes to business, enlighten a lot of people when it comes to just opening their mindset. And letting them know what opportunities are out there. So that's something that I've been working on for the past couple of weeks, getting together the One Recourse podcast. Um, some other things that I did is I got this thing. It's called Opt In Monster. So if you're a business owner, whoop, bugs out here. Uh, if you're a business owner, you want to look at Opt In Monster. Opt In Monster is something that I use on all my websites. Uh, it's like a lead generator. It's to capture people who come to your site. Because when somebody comes to your website, you want them to make a decision. You don't necessarily want them moseying around for no reason. It's either they're coming to your website, either they're interested in what you got, or they're not. Um, when you have the opt-in monster, it really helps to focus that. So I recently purchased that. Purchased that the yearly thing. Um, so you should, I'll probably try to add that in my show notes, opt-in monster. You might want to check that out and get that for your website because pretty much it's like, Hey, do you want a discount or no, I don't want a discount. And that's it. You know, so either people are going to want what you have to offer or they're not. So it should increase your, encourage, uh, your conversion rates on your website. So that's something that I'm recommending to you guys because it's something that I'm implying myself on all of my websites, which is a necktie exchange which is geared toward, you know, buying and selling of neckwear. So if you've got some old ties, go into the neck, neckties.exchange.com and get rid of them, sell them, you know, make some money off of it. We have the One Recourse Marketplace. Again, if you're a marketing agency and you're looking to work with some of the, you know, more established businesses, bid on some of those um, jobs that they're going to have posting, definitely take out onerecourse.com. Real estate, 
which is brand new edition of the One Recourse brand, the One Recourse Real Estate Marketing. That's for all the real estate agents or anybody in the real estate industry. Marketing your business, I mean, you got to focus on the housing industry. It is a totally different beast. I'm getting into the whole housing buying thing. So I'm starting to understand, like, wow, man, like, I don't know anything about this. And this is like a full time, like, you need to know. But I do know marketing. So I'm just kind of marrying the two where I can work with real estate professionals from a marketing standpoint. And I can also learn about the real estate industry for myself personally. So that's um, something that I'm super excited about as well. Um, yeah, I mean, and that's kind of like, you know, mostly the, the update of what's really going on. I think I talked about Teachable, which is a course putting together. It's called 52 Marketing Strategies for Clothing Line Entrepreneurs. And this course is really just going to give you, if you're a business entrepreneur in the clothing line industry, because it's specifically for clothing line. I mean, I may do something else for other business owners, but this is just for the clothing line entrepreneurs out there. You will get 52 different marketing strategies. How do you implement them? Who's been successful at implementing them? And like, you know, downloads and links and discounts on a lot of different stuff. So I'm shooting that every single week and rolling it out every single week. So basically, if you enroll in that course, you get myself for 52 weeks. So basically, I'll be there for a whole year with you, um, you know, helping, guiding you through marketing and branding your clothing line, as well as our private Facebook group that we have that's strictly for anybody who enrolls in the course. It's like a community effort where I'll be there every week answering questions, you know, posting stuff, giving tips for clothing line entrepreneurs. So if you know anybody who's a clothing line entrepreneur or you yourself, if you're thinking of getting into the clothing line business, whether it's be making a t-shirt or some sneakers, you name it, this is definitely going to be the course you might want to take because you're going to get something out of it. And that's the overall point. So I'm super excited about that. And those are things that are keeping me busy. So like every week, you know, I'm either shooting for the podcast, I'm going to be, you know, setting up my course for Teachable, getting out that content, editing that content. Uh, the progression of one recourse, man, has been, you know, really crazy. And I feel blessed that I have, you know, good friends and good family, um, you know, who help, who help support me and what I got going on. And without good people in your corner, it's really difficult to get anything done. So I'm super blessed about that. Uh, oh, I was in a car accident. <laughs> um, you know, ironically, uh, fortunately, this was around Mother's Day. I was in a car accident, so I'm glad that I got my car back as of recently. I was using a rental for a little while, which was cool, but I couldn't stop. You know, business had to go on. But that was just like a side note. Again, this is Diary of an Entrepreneur. And, um, yeah, I was in a car accident, but clearly I'm fine. I'm okay. And I get to do this video with you. I, look, I got my new uh, headphones, so I kind of like these, right? These are kind of cool. They have a microphone. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the scenery change and the updates as far as, you know, me getting into a car accident, my busy schedule that's coming up with the podcast and the teachable course. And just some of the things that maybe if you're listening with my tip as far as getting or checking out optinmonster.com, um, it'll help progress you in your business. Um, yeah. Oh, last thing <laughs> before I forget. I'm always reading. So I got this new book and it's called The E-Myth. So check out The E-Myth and it's about how to create business systems that will help you grow your business. So as an entrepreneur, you don't get landlocked in just focusing on one thing and your business failing. So the E-Myth is really good for business structures. That's the new book that I'm reading. I'll probably go into that more in some of the other episodes, but definitely check that out as well. I'm always trying to give you some valuable tips. I'm always trying to make sure that whatever I'm doing, I can help somebody else by going through it first. And my name is Dennis, and you just tuned into another episode of Diary of an Entrepreneur. And until next time, make sure you check out everything that's in the show notes. Later.